Alright, so I am I am here with um, a little interview with um, Andrew Gray and so uh, so I'm, I find out, you know, what a blessing to find out he's uh, he's a believer in Christ and a brother in the Lord and so um, you know when I, whenever I meet someone else who's a as a who's a member of you know the Church of Christ, I want I really want to know like how they found God. So maybe we, we can share your testimony and how did you how did you come it out? It was more or less not me finding God, it was more about God finding me and setting me in the last half. and keeping me in areas that would allow me to grow. Testing me, and, I, and I've also prayed for testing. So when I was this younger, I, the Lord found me, and what I've shared every single day is that I still pray um, consistently as Lord test me today, so He can bring me to your higher place, so that I can bring more disciples to you. I can share my testimony with the world. I can share that there's tests, there's battles, and there's victories, and that brings triumph and giving God all the glory. So He found me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for asking about that. Yeah. So and I love how you're so on fire. For Oh yeah, because you know it's really his grace. Even me having that attitude, you know, I I credit him too because I cannot have this heart, you know, without him giving it to me. Because you know, in the Bible it said the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So you know, without him, I'll be chasing over, you know, the garbage of the world. He didn't find me. It's like he, you know, he, he's the one who finds, right? It's, that's what it means to be saved by grace alone. You know? Devils and distractions. Yeah. Yeah, totally, and I think the devil... Yeah, it makes sense. You know, it's like, you know, we can say the heart, our brain, our vessels, it's a flesh. It's part of the, this, this realm's material. You know, we're spiritual beings. We're just in these bodies. We're conduits. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we are We are the bridges that God will use to, to spread His message to the world. Especially now, uh, the, you know, the world is getting worse. You know, Jesus said men's hearts will fail them. And, and we're getting there. And even now, of course, let me ask you though, do you think the world's getting worse or that we just have more access to the world and manipulating it? There's more tools that the devil can use now to heighten things. Like we know, uh, like Power Rangers are in Hollywood smoking mirrors, right? Yeah. But they create that. That's all an illusion. So do we think it's getting worse or is that the Lord, not the Lord, sorry, the, the uh, deceiver of lies, the king of lies, just putting more smoke and mirrors out there to make us come here. Mm -hmm. That's another way of testing. Yeah. Right? Break our spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a kind of a rhetorical question. Yeah, I culture, think about those things too. Yeah, the Bible said that yeah, the devil is the god of this world. So that means he's you know, he he'll use what, what whatever he can, even yeah. technology. Yeah. Or, or it, it's good to a certain extent, but people have abused technology in the most dramatic ways. And, and I think one of the lies that the world believes now is man is just getting you know better and better. But but really, it, it's really only the people of God that get better. You know, man that only men and women of God that get better from time to time. We're just finding more ways to, to stay in a state of distraction and or distress. Distress, distress, and distraction go right, go go right with each other. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Totally. So. How do we stay out of distress? We stay focused on the Lord. Yeah. That is our stability. That is our, how we zoom out and look at things from a different plane field, on a different frequency. Yeah. We don't give we don't give them any focus. It's the same thing as somebody who's narcissistic or toxic, right? They want a reaction. They'll, they project things, so we got to be mindful of how we're going to be moving forward. Yeah. 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 That's right. And and it's and, all in the book, and we see in the book that it's, it's not it's not a book of butterflies and, and jelly beans. It, it is a constant test, a constant battle, constant uh, bloodshed, constant. We need to move forward against all odds, and also we go against. How many times do those battles that you know, Moses is going through, or Joseph, or Joshua, or Isaac, etc., where they're being tested not only to kill their only son, right, to be anointed, but also to. They have the enemy has way more strongholds and you know, people. Mm -hmm. but we are the chosen people to go to go. And that's how we get our inheritance. Right, right. Yeah, and like Jesus said, many are called, but you are, but chosen. You are chosen. Yeah, and and you know, and, and you know the, these chosen ones. Um, I know God. God is the one who saves, but you know I, I'm not. Full He's a believer. believer. He's the greatest believer. Yeah. 
Yeah, despite the fact that he's the one choosing, you know, we we, we don't know who are the, the chosen ones yet that are you know, that are still in the world, but you know, God will bring His elect, you know, into the kingdom of God. You know, and it's our job to be faithful, you know, to to spread the message and you know just to, to get the gospel out there, proclaim it. For anybody who watches this, just grant yourself grace and know that you are no different. I'm no different than the person hanging across from uh, Christ on the cross. That, that, the man who was a thief, a murderer, I'm not saying you're any of those things, but that's who we are. He's not going to forget you either. You ask to be remembered, he will remember you. Mm -hmm. He will remember you, so grant yourself grace. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Just uh, love us. So what can you say about your journey with Christ? Like your, you know, like the, your growth process from then until now, what the difference is. The difference is that I used to uh, allow my vices to control me instead of me controlling my vices. Mm -hmm. I would act on impulses and go towards temptation without praying. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Prayer is a reminding of God's vision. So we need to be reminded of the vision. It's like that's how we put back our armor on. Because we want to go into temptation, and also, it's if I do go into temptation, you know, I have um, there's grace. Mm -hmm. There's grace. So yeah. that's part of the journey is learning. It yeah. just comes a time. Yeah. It just comes a time when you're a child. Maybe easier because you haven't developed all your, your mind hasn't developed. Yeah. So you may not be going towards the same temptations that you would have as a as a as a grown man. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're different. Yeah. They happen in different times. Yeah. I think that's the greatest gift about life. 